Hello, boys and girls. Today the glasses are off, which means all pets are off. Now, we're going to read from the Book of Knowledge some poetry. <laughs> some poetry, to say the least. Yes. And I also put my calling card as my bookmark today. The day we're reading the cane bottom chair. Wow, that's a lot of words for you, Batsy. Anyway, also, if you want me to do more of these videos, please leave a thumbs up. Please like, comment, and subscribe, as 94% of you that watch my videos are not subscribed. And definitely don't have that bell notifications on. Thank you. Thank you very much. Now, in tattered old slippers that toast at the bars, in ragged old jacket perfumed with cigars, away from the world and its toils and cares, I have a snug little kingdom up four pairs of stairs. To mount to this realm is a toil to be sure, but the fire there is bright, and the air rather pure. <clears throat> and the view I behold on a sunshiny day is grand throughout the chimney pots over the way. This snug little chamber is crammed all in the nooks with worthless old knick-knacks and silly old books and foolish old aunts and foolish old hens, cracked bargains from brokers, cheap keepsakes from friends, old armor prints, pictures, pipes, china all cracked, Old rickety tables and chairs broken bad. A two-penny treasury, wondrous to see. What matter, tis pleasant to you, my friend and me. No better divian needed the sultan require than the creaking old sofa that basks by the fire. And it is wonderful, surly, the mu what music you get from a rickety, ramshackle, wheezy spinet. That praying rug came from a turkoman's cap, and by Tiber once twinkled that brazen old lamp. A maim look fierce yonder dagger has drawn. Tis wonder, tis a murderous knife to toast muffins upon. Long, long through the hours, and the night in the chimes. Here we talk of old books, and old friends, and old times. As we sit in a fog made of rich lacti, this chamber is pleasant to you, friend, and to me. But of all the old sweet treasures that garnish my nest. There's one that I love and I cherish the best. For the finest of couches that's padded with hair, I would never change thee, my caned bottom chair. Tis a bandy-legged, high-shouldered, Worm-eaten seat with a creaking old back and a twisted old feet. But since the fair morning when Fanny sat there, I bless thee in lovely old cane bottom chair. If chairs have but feeling in holding such charms, a thrill must have passed through your withered old arms. I looked and I longed and I wished in despair. I wish myself turned to a cane-bottomed chair. It was a boat moment she sat in this place. It was but a moment she sat in this place, but 
She'd scarf. She'd a scarf on her neck and a smile on her face. A smile on her face and a rose in her hair. And she sat there and bloomed in my cane bottomed chair. And so I have valued my chair ever since, like the shrine of a saint or the throne of a prince. Saint Fanny, my patroness, sweet I declare, the queen of my heart in my cane-bottomed chair. When the candles burn low and the company's gone, in the silence of night as I sit there alone, I sit here alone, Yet we are yet a pair, my fanny and I see the cane bottom chair. She comes from the past and revisits my room. She looks like she did then, all beauty and bloom. So smiling, tender, so fresh and so fair. And yonder she sits on my cane bottomed chair. Thank you. Thank you very much for listening to this video. If you want more poetry, leave a thumbs up in that wonderful thumbs up box and leave a comment down below if you want to hear more poetry from the Joker with a smile on his face. Yes. Have a wonderful rest of your day. That was, again, in the cane-bottomed chair. I'm sure y'all couldn't find it on the interwebs there. And I will see you again, hopefully very soon. And don't forget to like, con comment, subscribe, for your soul is true. Bye-bye.